Hey guys, Rob from Pixel Tech, and basically I'm going to try and get this video in one take so there won't be any jump cuts. So basically the Apple event has just kind of finished, it's still going on, I'm watching on my dad's laptop there as well as a shine, but there was so much stuff being announced. Um, so I'm going to sort of go backwards in the way they presented it, just because it's the biggest stuff at the end and it's more at the beginning. So it started off, no, it ended off with a new MacBook Air, which was kind of expected. Um, basically, it's it's like a, they they said it's like if iPad got with a MacBook, this is what it would make. It's basically they they call it a net, a netbook. Its thickest part is 0.68 inches, thinnest is 0.11 inches. It's got a 13.3 inch LED high res display, Core 2 Duo processor, Nvidia GeForce 320 M. I don't know what that is, I'm not quite sure about graphics cards. Um, and no hard drive, and it's all solid state storage, it's flash drive, so it's quite small hard drives, really small hard drives. And then they also said the battery life is 7 hours, um, and a stand standby is 30 days. And that was all for the 13.3 inch, and then there's 11.6 inch one as well. Um, that's got 5 hours battery life, so not as good battery life. Um, the pricing, uh, I can't really remember the 13.3 inch, but for the 11.6, it's $999 for 64 gigabyte, $1,199 for 128 gigabyte, $1,599 for 22, 265 gigabyte. So as you can tell, they are very small hard drives. On to the next thing. Um, so they talked a lot about bringing stuff from the iPad to the Mac, and a lot about the iPad to, no, the Mac to the iPad, but mainly it was iPad to the Mac. So Mac OS X Line is a new operating system that they will release in sometime next, sometime this summer, so I'm not quite sure when that is. So they've had seven major releases in the past decade, and this is their eighth, the Line. Um, it's Mac OS X meets an iPad. Basically, they've added a Mac App Store, a launch pad, place to store apps, um, mission control, which is exposure, um, spaces and dashboard sort of all together in one so you don't have to like switch between them all it's all sort of there um, and also it's yeah yeah released in summer so basically there's a lot of quite cool things like you when you're on your desktop home screen like this is you can with a multi-touch trackpad you can switch to the left kind of like in spotlight on your phone and it will go to your dashboard or you can switch to the right and it will go into like your current full screen apps. They talked about a lot about full screen applications. Now when you press that green plus, it will like get rid of your dock, get rid of the menu bar at the top, and it will just be like full screen, like craziness. Right, so also there is a new iLife, which is really cool. So basically iPhoto, there is new full screen mode, Facebook enhancement, email photos, new slideshows, big heat, big, Big step in album books. So, like, if you want to make a a book of your holiday, then that's that's what it is. They've like improved all that. Um, I life eleven, obviously. It's um, upgradable for forty nine dollars, and it's available today. Oh yeah, the MacBook Air is also available today. So I forgot to mention that. Um, and it also has iMovie, all new media, or sorry, all new audio editing. So it's better for audio. Um, one Step Effects, People Finder, News and Sports Themes, and Movie Trailers. It's it's quite cool. It's it's hard to explain because there's so much, but you can just go watch the videos on their website. And plus, we are going to do a more in-depth version of this event on Friday when it's Tectos. This is just like a special update, Tectos. Yeah. Um, uh got so many notes. Also GarageBand, they've done some really cool stuff with it. They've got flex time, groove matching, more guitar amps and effects, new piano and guitar lessons, and how did I play. So basically it's like a game when you play a piano because it will show you how to play and you have to play along. If you get it wrong then you get scored bad and a bit like that. So that's quite cool. Also it's got like a tempo fixer so if you have all played different tracks singly and they don't ma match up very well you can just literally pick the best track and it will just fix the rest so it will all sound good. Um, and also quite a very cool thing, FaceTime for the Mac. So basically you can do FaceTime 
to any other device that has FaceTime. So currently all the devices that do FaceTime are all the Macs. Well, now it's all the Macs. You can go download it today. Um, so all the Macs do FaceTime, iPhone 4s and the new iPod Touch. So basically you can actually do FaceTime to an iPod Touch or an iPhone 4. It doesn't matter. So that is so cool. So basically, I'm glad I did that in one take. That is the Apple Media event. We will have a more in-depth version of this on our Tech Dose video on Friday. So look out for that. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you later. Sorry this has been not quite funny because I've been like... Oh, no, no, no. But yeah, I'll, I'll shut up now. Bye. Thank you.